Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? And welcome to my top five things we need in Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, EA, of course. So, uh, sorry this is out fairly late. Um, I got caught, out, caught up in playing my new favorite game. I'm, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm on a huge Star Wars, like, bang, binge, binge, I don't know, whatever. I'm really hooked on Star Wars right now. So I was looking at some of the Star Wars games, and I found this game called Star Wars Empire at War, and I am losing every time I play it, but I'm having tons of fun. So yeah, that's why this is so late. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the number five thing we need in Star Wars Battlefront, a steady working launch. DICE, you make amazing games. You made Battlefield 4, which was amazing after a few patches, Battlefield 3, you know, all those other awesome, you know, Battlefield games. I guess they only made Battlefield games. But your track record for steady working launches is non-existent, <laughs> to be honest. Battlefield 4 was a fucking, it was horrible at launch. You could barely get it to play. And even some people still have problems with uh, getting it to work. I know one of my friends, Jacob, uh, I probably mentioned him in a video before, has I think he still has problem with problems with getting it to work. So yeah, we definitely need this game to be working on launch. It needs to be steady, not crashing every five minutes, and you need to be able to connect to servers like because you know, come on, your your servers also haven't been that you know reliant. It takes a long time to connect to a server, or it took a long time when Battlefield 4 was first released. So yeah, we need a steady working launch. So the number four thing we need in Star Wars Battlefront. DLCs that actually mean something. Not just three or four maps and here you go. I mean if you're going to charge $15 for every DLC, you need to have a lot of everything. New heroes, new missions, new eras, new vehicles, all that shit. So I do talk about a new era a little bit later in the video, and even in my next moment, a little, uh, a little bit of something that could be DLC. We definitely need more stuff added on to the game uh, in the DLCs, not just three or four maps and a hero, maybe. We need like three or four maps, a new game mode, three heroes, and a couple new vehicles. And even in some of the DLCs, whole new eras and missions and big game modes and big game altering things we we need this game to be amazing and filled with content i have faith that it's going to be packed to the brim with content as soon as we get it like on release day it's going to be like that and i'm just hoping these dlcs feel like extra games as they come out for this game like to make it that much more amazing but that's what we need dlcs to actually mean something so the number three thing we need in Star Wars Battlefront is space combat and galactic conquest. Now I know a few people, that's an understatement, a lot of people have been upset that there is no space combat or galactic conquest. I'm more upset about galactic conquest than space combat because to be honest, let's be honest, space combat wasn't that great in Battlefield 2. You have to admit it even though they can make it amazing in this one, it was not good in Battlefront 2. Now, that's not to say that they shouldn't have it in the new Battlefront because it was bad in Battlefront 2, because they can make it amazing now. I'm just saying that, let's look at that, and let's tone down the bitching because it wasn't good. But Galactic Conquest, I understand. Galactic Conquest was fucking awesome. Uh, the way you could go around the galaxy, you know, Fighting the planets and shit. I didn't play it much. I'm sorry. Uh, one, another one of my friends would be better suited to tell you about that. But I, the time that I have had with Galactic Conquest was awesome. I loved it. So I can really see why a lot of people are upset about it. Uh, the single player. I actually started playing the single player, and that's why it's not on. You know, with these two things. Because the single player was lackluster. Again, they, that's not to say that guys couldn't have done something amazing. That's just to say that it wasn't that good. I guess. I don't know. We could have used all three. I'll be okay with Galactic Conquest. But we could really use uh, Space Combat too. So the number two thing we need in Star Wars Battlefront is the Clone Wars. Of course it's not in the base game. But it could be perfect for DLC. To me, and probably a lot of other people, the Clone Wars was a fucking awesome concept. 
that was very poorly dying in episode 2. Uh, but apparently amazingly dying in the Clone Wars TV show, which I do plan on watching for the very first time very soon. Probably after I finish Star Wars Rebels. But Star Wars, or the Clone Wars rather, was just awesome. It had all that fucking different cool looking armor. You had the droids. You had the Jedi in their four and they're four in their full form and i know if it was in there it wouldn't be about jedis because we already have heroes and stuff but it's just to me the clones were so interesting i don't know why i never am able to explain this it's just i love the clones because of their armor their armor was cool they were clones of Django fett so that automatically made them fucking awesome and i can't explain it we just need the clone wars give us the clone wars give us to it now now and the number one thing we need in Star Wars Battlefront is a lot of heroes in the main game. I'm talking Luke, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Boba, Han, Chewie, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Lango, the Emperor, Mace, Yoga, all those and a lot more. Uh, and I know I said heroes, even though some of those weren't heroes, but you get the point. Uh, I'll be doing a top 5 or top 10 uh, heroes that should be in Battlefront. Soonish, probably the day after tomorrow or so, maybe even tomorrow after the Flash and Arrow. Um, but yeah, we need a shit ton of heroes. That's what made Battlefront 2 so cool to me. Like, I didn't play Star Wars Battlefront 2, or, well, yeah, I had to play Battlefront 1 for the troopers. I didn't play Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the troopers. I played to play as the heroes. You know, Luke, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Darth Maul, Darth Vader. And even Mace Wingo, Mace Wingo was awesome because it was Samuel L. Jackson. It was just, it was cool to have all that choice from different heroes that you wanted to play as um, in the hero battles. Now in the main maps, it was cool because they were additions like to the maps that actually mattered because they were correct. To, like if you were playing on that map at a certain time, you'd have the corresponding hero for that map. And it was awesome. We just need a metric shit ton of these heroes in the main game. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think should be in Star Wars Battlefront. Whether it be heroes, different eras, you know, DLCs, whether you want galactic, space, or, um, single player, you know. Uh, anyways. I said anyways twice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I said that twice. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.